Just in case you forgot, I want to remind you that tomorrow is St. Patrick's Day. That means tonight, before you go to bed, you might want to pick out something green to wear so you don't forget in the morning. Next, make sure your slow cooker is ready so in the morning you can just add the corned beef and cabbage, turn it on, in comes supper time, dinner is ready. Last, but certainly not least, you may want to whip up our Irish cream cake, which is magically good. We start by baking a yellow cake mix, but rather than simply following the package instructions, we add some dry instant vanilla pudding and Irish cream to the mix. Then we pour it over some chopacons in a bunt pan. While this bakes, we'll make a quick throw together glaze to pour over it. When the cake comes out, we poke it a few times with a fork and pour the glaze on it so that it soaks in. Then we flip it out onto a platter and spoon more glaze on top. This magical cake is even better when it's shared with friends, so make sure you invite a few over. To get the recipe for our Irish cream cake, all you have to do is visit our website. I'm Howard with Kelly in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen, where today we found a St. Patty's Day way <laughs> for you to say, ooh, it's so good. There's a link to today's recipe at valleynewslive.com. Just click on the Mr. Food button or write us at the station, 1350 21st Avenue South, Fargo, North Dakota, 58103. Next here at noon, that final check of your gloomy Tuesday forecast.